We try to do a lot to educate the people here. The most satisfying part of my job is when I work with the descendants of the soldiers who fought here at the four battlefields. And they get so happy, they come back sometimes, they take pictures with us, but they most of the time come back and thank us for showing them, and they really appreciate it. We get letters, diaries all the time of people who want to share the story of their, their ancestors. Uh, and those are the sorts of building blocks that we use to create a vivid experience at this place. Once in a while, we also share history with uh, descendants and family members who come in. The most important and vivid story that uh, related to slavery here in Fredericksburg is the, the life and, and experience of John Washington. The African American Heritage Trail developed based on research it was discovered really in the early 21st century when we realized that the Rappahannock River became the boundary between the United States and the Confederate States. If you're on the Fredericksburg side, well, that was Confederate. But over here where we're standing, that was Union or free territory. Slaves would make their way to Fredericksburg from the surrounding communities. They'd get across the river, and if they made it to Stafford, they were free. John Washington could write, and he kept the diary, and he wrote about being in Fredericksburg and getting across the river to freedom. The great historian David Blight, who published John Washington's memoir, he and I had the great pleasure of taking John Washington's granddaughter and, uh, and her uh, grandniece around this town. They knew that John Washington had been a slave, uh, but they didn't know that he had written a memoir. And they had no concept of what his life was like. She said, I've often wondered why it is that I've been allowed to live to the age that I am now of 92. And after today, I now understand. This family that had hovered in post-emancipation America without roots suddenly understood their roots.